I'm Watanabe Shinji, the Renshi of Yuigari Karate. Today's video is about the secret of Naihachi. Actually, uh, this content is already uploading, but that is a Japanese version. This time is an English version. And there is a good news in the last of this video. So, check it out again. Os. Nai Hanch is positioned as the basic kata in many styles connected to Shurite or Tomarite. In this case, basic does not mean the easiest thing for beginners. It means the most important and essential thing. Why is Nai Hanch the most important and essential of all katas? Because there are two principles that are the source of the power of karate. One is centrifugal force, and the other is the motion of COZ, center of gravity. Nine hunch is made so that it is very easy to learn those two things. Let's take a look specifically. Awesome. Uh, when you hear COZ, maybe you think it about Roabe, so called tandem. That is, of course, the correct answer. But actually, the human body has uh, various COZ for each part. Uh, the COZ, COZ of the whole body is in the abdomen, COZ of the upper body is in the chest, and the COZ of the head is in the head. This is the vertical line of COZs. Similarly, the COZ of the hand is in the hand. COZ, the COZ of the arm is in the, uh, in the elbow. And the upper body is COZ, that I mentioned before. And this is the horizontal line. And you can make a ball by arranging the two COZ's line. Big ball like this. By moving this ball, a centrifugal force is generated, which causes the COZ to move. This is the source of the power of karate. This is the secret of Naihach. Now, Let's actually use this ball to perform the movement of Naihachi. There is a little extra movement to make it easier to see where and how the ball is held. But look closely. Naihachi. Do you understand? Next is the actual eye hunch. Please take a look while being aware of the movement of the ball. Eye hunch. How was it? Did you understand? In this way, uh, Naihach is the kata that makes it very easy to run centrifugal force and the movement of COZ. This is the secret of Naihach. 
How was it? Is that so? I didn't know it at all. Maybe there are many such people, I guess. So, maybe you think now like this. I understood that the centripetal force and the movement of CO are important. But how does that actually help in Kumite? Right? The answer is this. If you master the movement of this kata and can actually use it in Kumite, you will get the three ability power, speed, and stamina need for Kumite. No way. It can't be. You might think so. But it's true. I'll say it more correctly. First, my hunch does not increase your maximum muscle strength, but to increase the power of your tsuki. The second, my hunch does not increase your instantaneous power, but you can make it movement that are difficult for the opponent to see. In other words, the absolute speed does not increase, but my hunch increase your relative speed in Kumite. And the third, my hunch does not improve your muscle endurance or cardiovascular function, but you can master the motion that without getting tired. In this way, so to speak, recreating the quality of your movement to obtain power, speed, and stamina is the true purpose of kata training. If you want to know more about this content, please watch my other videos. It's already made a playlist. Unfortunately, uh, it's a Japanese version, but it has English subtitles. And, and uh, I have a plan that I'll remake those videos in English one day. And uh, this is uh, a different matter. Uh, I'm receiving requests. They say, uh, please tell us how to do your nai hunch uh, specifically. So, uh, from the next time, uh, I introduce how to do my Yuigaryu Karate nai hunch step by step. Uh, but very sorry, I can't post it fast pace. I have to make and post also kudo videos and also I have to study English more <laughs> but uh, I promise I promise I'll make and post it so stay tuned Os.